Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So I was just literally about to start a video on the hidden gems, which I'll get to, but the postman just arrived um, with a package from Vegas. And I was going to say I've got no idea who this is from, but I've just had a message from Lisa asking if I've received any post yet today. So I'm guessing that this is from Lisa. Let's have a look. Oh, it's called Slytherin. And I do remember, I remember Lisa mentioning this and saying you need this. Oh my God, it's a tonic polish. And we were just talking yesterday about, oh my God, I'm so excited. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, Lisa, thank you. We were literally just talking yesterday about tonic polish and I was saying, um, we were, Catherine and I were talking to Lisa and we were talking about her tonic polish haul and tonic polish video. And I was saying that I only had Light of Lyra, that, but it was a, a really impressive brand. And she sent me Slytherin, or she's arranged for it. So I didn't realise that Tonic were based in Vegas. That's interesting. And it managed to get through customs, which is fantastic. That's amazing. That is incredible. Let's watch it. Oh, gosh. This looks like a soft, metallic sage green but it's packed with um i can't speak it's so pretty <laughs> it's packed with holographic remove these scissors holographic scattered yeah scattered holographic glitters wow that is beautiful i'm going to go and send a message to Lisa and I'm going to sit down and have a coffee and then come back and do a second coat and then get on with the rest of the video. <laughs> That's just knocked me off my feet completely. Beautiful. And it's packed, absolutely jam-packed with these scattered holographic glitters. Wonderful, absolutely beautiful slithering. Um, yeah, I think that probably would be the house that I'd be in if I was in Harry Potter. <laughs> just because of the green um yeah beautiful okay i'll be back in a bit wow look how pretty this is so i've just put a second coat on and it's deepened up that green quite considerably but there's a bit of a duochrome shift can you see that there so it's kind of blue gold green gorgeous and all those holographic glitters are very, very pronounced. This is beautiful. Love it. Thank you so much, Lisa. You're naughty. Um, and now I can add this to my collection and Tonic Light of Lyra isn't my one and only. I've now got two tonic polishes, so that's fantastic. Thank you. What are we here for? <laughs> I will try and go through these as quickly as possible because I don't want it to end up being a huge, huge video. But these are all polishes from the summer that I hadn't tried or that people had sent me. Some that I've had for quite a long time that I hadn't tried. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I tried to get through as many as possible. And within those polishes that I'm still continuing to go through, I've managed to pull out 10 that I consider are real hidden gems, so polishes that probably would have just got forgotten about, but because I pull them out in the summer on trides, um, I've been able to really appreciate them, and um, I just wanted to share with you these, these wonderful discoveries that I've made. So the first two are very bright. These are typical summer shades and probably driving the camera crazy. This first one here is Nurture by Illamasqua. And I think I was put off by this because in the bottle it's got that weird watery consistency 
that, that neons tend to have. But actually, it, so it dries matte and it, it doesn't apply too bad at all. I would say two coats, I think it was two coats. Um, you may need three and I'm not applying it very well there. Um, but this was a beautiful bright green and I wore it on its own and I also wore it as a base for nail art but I just really loved the brightness um, and also the formula is not too bad so that's Ilamasca Nurture and for me it was a hidden gem just because of this particular shade beautiful Next, again, for the shade uh, Mayhem Mentality. And this was in my project, and still is in my Project Polish Minis. So this was a polish that I really wanted to try and finish this year, or use up as much as possible. Part of that Project Pan kind of challenge with half. And this is looking more pinky, not nowhere near as bright. I think you'll be able to see in the swatch picture how bright this is. But it's Orly's Mayhem Mentality, absolutely beautiful. I think this out of all of them that, that I'm going through in the minis would be one of the ones that I would definitely repurchase in the bigger size. But yeah, absolutely love this and couldn't stop looking at my nails. So next up are more pastel type shades and summer, muted summer shades. So let's have a look at this. This is minted from Revlon and this was sent to me by Lou, Loopy Frog. Um, and I've got many, many mint greens, but this one has got a slight blueness to it and there is a shimmer in there. And it's a great formula. Um, so it is actually quite an unusual green in my collection just because of that slight blueness to it and yeah this is minted and I use this as a base as well for nail art and I did a kind of reverse cherry blossom so the the background was pink and the blossom was was green but anyway this is Revlon minted and this was a real nice surprise Next is one of Ilsa's favourites, or lem definitely a lemming, and if I could send this over to you easily, Ilsa, I definitely would. This is Barry M. Uh, Prickly Pear. I did know the name. <laughs> and this is a really pretty lavender, but there are lilac, slight pinky lilac tones as well. It's definitely more cool toned. And it, depending on different lights, it does give my skin tone. It, I do get kind of lobster skin with this type of tone if I'm not careful. But in other lights, it looks glorious. Um, and it's just such a pretty shade. Uh, really great formula. And uh, I just wanted to also give it a kind of outing for, for you, Ilsa, so you can see how pretty it is. But this is a swatch of me wearing Prickly Pear really pretty shade. Next, and I think I've mentioned this in A Magnificent Seven, but again it's worth mentioning, this is Mrs Always Right that came from the Bridal Collection last year. And it's a beautiful one coat, dusky, deep dusky pink. It kind of straddles into a neutral shade, but if you're looking for a red, and you like pinks but you're looking for a red but you don't want anything that's too much of a bright red this is fantastic I was this was a real surprise for me um, in that trio I wasn't sure what this one was going to be like but I was blown away by the formula and again a very pretty neutral summery shade and this one here, before I do move on to my neutrals, is the H&M polish that was sent to me a while ago. So this had been sat on my shelf as an untried for a while and this is the beautiful Sky High from H&M. So Catherine sent me this and oh my god, just gorgeous, 
periwinkle blue. So there's a little bit of a purple tone to this. Yeah, it's kind of cornflower blue. And it's beautiful, fantastic formula, beautiful in two coats. The application was great. Um, and it just, wearing this just made me think, whoa, hang on a minute, uh, let me put a bit of a spotlight on H&M. And then Catherine sent me loads more H&Ms, which I'm delighted about. I've got quite a collection now. Uh, but this is beautiful. I loved wearing this. And I also loved wearing the green one as well. I mean, I'm highlighting this just because I don't want to have too many greens in the video. But um, this was just as beautiful as the green one. Um, so that's Sky High by H&M. And then we move on to the neutrals. I'll try and go through these quickly, otherwise it'll be a very long video. This is Stick to Your Guns, which was sent to me by Debbie. And again, I'd left this on the side for quite a while, but it is a beautiful, um, as Half would say, squashed mouse shade. So it's a classic taupe, like grey toned taupe. Beautiful with a little bit of pinky in, pink in there as well. Uh, and as you can see, it's a fabulous, fabulous formula, like one coat. Amazing. Loved this. I, I actually wish I'd kept the picture where I'd just had it on its own. I, I covered it with um, polka dot sprinkles, um, which you'll see in the swatch video. But I do love this shade. Beautiful. real A real hidden treasure. Next we have, this looks like the most boring polish ever. Don't dismiss these Glow and Care because they look boring. They've got fabulous formulas and they do have a glow on the nail. And this one particularly, I thought, was a great formula, a little bit of a shimmer, but it also is a good kind of mannequin hands, just, you know, throw it on your hands and go um, for my type of skin tone. I absolutely loved this and in the swatch picture you can see the, the, the glow much more than you can here so I think you probably do need a little, little bit of light um, but yeah I, I loved this one and it was a real surprise for me because it didn't look like anything at all in the bottle but it was wonderful on the nail. Then another beautiful neutral, this is a creamy pale grey that was sent to me by Jules. This is Heavy Metal, Sally Hansen. And again, a great formula and a really fantastic base for nail art. So it's pale, but it's not the palest grey that I've got. And it feels like, it look, well, it looks like there's a little bit of a brown kind of taupe tone to it as well so it's a it's sort of a warm toned pale grey and yeah I didn't apply that very well at all um, I'm rushing now because I can see how long I've been taking uh, this is fabulous brilliant base for nail art absolutely loved it as a summer neutral so that's heavy metal from Sally Hansen And finally, we've got, I left this for such a long time. I used all of the other polishes, but left this one thinking that it was going to be streaky and horrible. This is the Outer Space Stories collection from Essence, and this is Outer Space is the Place. And I did leave this for a while thinking I wasn't going to like it, and I don't know why I did that, because it's beautiful. I think it's got, I mean, a couple of people have complained about the formula on this, but I think it's got, for the type of polish it is, with that strong, pale, so it's a pale pink with the strong, very strong green flash. Um, I think that it's actually great in two coats. So you may need three, and again, it depends on your, your nail length, but this was fabulous um, in two to three coats. I wore it for days, actually. Um, it needs a second coat for you to see it properly, but you can see it in the swatch picture. Um, absolutely loved this one. And again, this was another that made my Magnificent Seven in the summer. So 
So there we go, that's my summer untried with a bonus nail mail ninja adventure that came from um, Lisa. That's beautiful. It's, yeah, look at that. So that's Slithering by Tonic Polish and I'm going to get, this is You Don't Know Me, which I've worn for a couple of days now, and I'm going to remove this and get Slithering on my nails as quick as I can. <laughs> Uh, if I manage to do this before I finish editing, I'll put a picture up of me wearing this. But um, thank, thank you, Lisa. That's so sweet of you. And I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye.